Welcome to my channel and today let's talk about this passport and its owner. He's the great Pharaoh Ramesses II. One of the longest serving in Egypt. Believed to have ruled from 1279 to 1213 BC. Son of Seti I, his reign lasted 66 years. During that time, he undertook several successful military campaigns which filled the state coffers with enough resources that enabled him carry out populist reforms throughout his empire and also erect several monuments in his honor. Traces of such structures were discovered as far as Palestine and Nubia, present-day Sudan, and of course Egypt. He lived to be around 90, outliving many of his wives and kids. Upon his death, he was buried in the Valley of Kings VK7, but because of fear of tomb looters, his mummy was moved several times and ended up in a high priest's tomb, enclosed in a wooden casket. Centuries after his discovery, the state of Egypt had packaged his mummy and put it on display, but in 1975 a French doctor discovered it was in a poor state as a result of the presence of humidity where it was kept showing signs of bacterial and fungal growth with signs of decomposition. Then, the French president decided to persuade his Egyptian counterpart to fly the mummy to France for restoration. In 1976, because of existing French laws that required any person, dead or alive, to have a passport before entry into France and because the same applied to Egypt with an added reason of laying legal claim to the mummy and ensuring its safe return, Europe has a history of not respecting African historical artifacts though, after more than 3,000 years since Ramesses' demise. He was issued an Egyptian passport to enable his mummy leave Egypt for France, for restoration. The occupation section of the passport stated King, deceased. At Paris Le Bourget Airport, Emperor Ramesses' mummy received a military procession with full military honors. This effectively made him the first and only Egyptian pharaoh to hold an Egyptian passport and receive a full military procession in France and to fly in an airplane. He was successfully restored and returned to Egypt for display at the Egyptian Museum in Cairo. Not sure he's used his passport for any travel again since then. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time, bye.